Hello, this is Kate from DailyTarotGirl.com and this is my updated tarot deck collection video. So I've done a couple of these videos in the past and so all of these decks are decks that I've acquired after I did those videos or decks, there's a couple decks here that for some reason weren't included in the other videos so I put them in this one. So let's start with the Everyday Witch Tarot. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be just briefly kind of touching on each deck, telling you a little bit about them. And so the Everyday Witch Tarot is this one. So this is what the card backs look like. Now this is probably my favorite deck. This is the deck that I use most often out of all my decks. It's just a really light, fun deck, but it's also very deep, very, it's a very um, workable deck. It's very, very easy to work with. And I guess I should tell you <clears throat> who created this deck. So here's the box and it was created. Um, the art is by Elizabeth Elba and I guess the deck concept and, and the book is by Deborah Blake. So yeah, really, really, really love this deck. It's based on the Rider Waite kind of style, um, but it's a really fun, down-to-earth, kind of easy-to-relate-to deck that I, I use the most often. Out of all these decks here, this is the one. This is my go-to deck. Okay, so this is the Wildwood Tarot. And I've had this deck for quite some time, actually. I'll show you the box. So here's what the box looks like. Um, and this is by uh, Mark Ryan, John Matthews, and Will Worthington. I believe this is by the same people that did, or at least some of the same people that did the Druidcraft Tarot. And this is a lovely deck. It's very druidy. <laughs> Lots of naturey themes in this deck. Um, one thing I found kind of tricky with this deck is that they renamed the suits and some of the cards so it's not the easiest deck to read with right out of the box for that reason but really really lovely illustrations lovely card stock I don't use this deck very often I think I used it more when I when I first got it but I really like the art on this deck but yeah, I don't, this is one that I don't actually, I hardly ever use this deck, but I do like it. Okay, and this is the Mystical Cats Tarot. Oops. So here we have the box. Mystical Cats Tarot by Linnea Weatherstone and art by Mickey Mueller. So I love the card backs on this one. And I also love the fact that there's no borders on these cards, which is something I really like. So as you can see, this is a cat-themed deck. There's cats on, on all the cards. And the suits have been renamed in this one as well. So like the suit of cups is C. So two of cups is two of C. <laughs> Demon cat. I love it. So yeah, I'm a big cat lover and uh, I love cat theme decks and the art is really really gorgeous in this deck really pretty I don't use this deck that often except when I'm like in a cat mood and I wanna I want a themed deck but it's a, it's an e a fairly easy to read deck I enjoy I enjoy reading with this one and it's just a fun deck to to look through oh I love this one <laughs> seven of earth all about patience so yeah it's a nice really pretty deck So this deck is the Pastel Tarot. Now, I, re I very recently did a review of the Pastel Tarot. This is by Gary Shook. And again, it's a borderless deck. It's based on the Rider Waite. I'm, most of the decks that I have is based, are based pretty closely on the Rider Waite style. And this has kind of a pastel theme to it. And I've only had this deck for, I don't know, maybe a month or six weeks or so. So I've been, I've been using it. I, ten, I tend to use decks quite a bit when I first get them. Um, and this one, this one's quite pretty. Okay. 
And then this next one is the Cook's Tarot. And I'll show you the box for that one. So this is the Cook's Tarot and it's by Judith McKay Sturt. And I really, really love this deck. So the cards are bigger than, than most of my other decks. And they're, it's very glossy, very shiny. And I just, oh, I adore this deck so much. I just love her art. I love the style. I love all the colors and, um, oops. I just love everything about this deck. And it's, it's called the Cook's Tarot, so it's um, got kind of a, like a culinary theme to it which is kind of fun um, and I love how there's no borders on these cards and yeah I, I, I it's funny I love this deck so much but I I don't read with it that often I kind of forget I have it and I'm like oh yeah I should read with this deck because it's really really a unique deck and just just a fun deck to have and to to look through okay so next up let's have a look at the Dark Mansion Tarot. So this is a deck that I only got about maybe six weeks ago. I love, love, love the card backs. Oh, and I'll show you what the box looks like. So this is what the box looks like. And these cards feel so good. They feel like nice and matte and velvety. And I am so in love with this deck. <laughs> this has been one of my go-to decks. I use this just as much as the Everyday Witch so far this year. So I kind of go, I go back and forth between the Everyday Witch Tarot and this one. I just feel like the, I love the theme of this deck. The, the, the theme is almost like sort of gothic kind of Nightmare Before Christmassy. Um, yeah, I really, really like this style. And it's a very readable deck. It's it's based quite closely on the Rider Waite Smith deck. And I find that it's very, very easy to read. And I recently did a review of, of that deck as well. Okay, and so here we have Benabel Wen's deck, which I'm really excited about. And I'll show you the box. This is the Spirit Keeper's Tarot. And I love the card backs. Very, very magical, mystical, and um, gold cards, too. Okay, so let's have a look at these. So this is a black and white deck. And I just, I was watching the progress of this deck on Benabelle's Facebook page. And I was just so in love with her style of drawing. She does all these drawings, you know, like pen and ink drawings by hand. And I just love how they're intricate, yet there's something just really charming about the style of these drawings. So I immediately fell in love with this. And uh, I haven't really had a chance to really work with this deck yet. I find it's, it's a deck that isn't so much based on the Rider Waite, it's more based on the Thoth style deck. And she's renamed some of the cards, like a lot of the, um, uh, the suits have been renamed, a lot of the court cards have been renamed. And so for me it wasn't the easiest deck to read with like right out of the box. I felt like I needed to kind of study the cards a little bit and, and spend some time with them. So I'm kind of in the process of doing that now. So yeah, they, I really like this deck. It's gorgeous. So I've I've really I've had this deck for a few months, but I've only done I've really only done a few readings on myself with it, but I've mainly just been kind of, you know, looking at the cards, taking it all in, getting kind of a feel for it. I feel like I have to learn this deck first <laughs> before doing a reading with it. But yeah, really really special. Really special deck. Okay, so this next deck. This one is called the Prisma Visions. 
Um, actually, this version is called something else, the light vision. It's called the light visions tarot. So there's the prisma visions, which I'll show you next, and then this is the light vision. So the light visions is the same as the prisma visions, except it's um, in sepia tones instead of being in full color. And, oh, this deck, it's so cool. The name of the artist is James R. Eads. And this, uh, I think I, yeah, I've done, a, I've done a review of this deck on my YouTube channel. And it's very unique in that if you put all the cards of one suit, like if you lay them out together, they form one big picture, which is really neat. I don't use this deck very often. I feel like this is, it's a really interesting deck and I feel like it's one of those decks you kind of have to spend some time with getting to know. It's not like a real quick, easy, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am kind of deck. You really have to kind of um, sit, with, sit with the cards a while. But really, really lovely special deck. It's one of those decks that I don't read with very often, but I love having it in my collection. And here is the Prisma Visions Tarot. So this is the same tarot deck, only it's in full color. And I'm not sure which one I like better, but I, th I think I'm kind of leaning more towards the full color version. I like both though. And this is just this is the kind of deck where I only use this deck for reading on myself because I feel like. I love to just sit with the cards and kind of journey into them and really contemplate things. Whereas if I'm reading for someone else, I kind of don't have like a ton of time to just sort of gaze. Ooh, I love that one. So yeah, I, I use this this deck for doing self readings more than more than anything. Okay, and here is the Intuitive Tarot by Scylla Conway. So this is the box, and I've had this tarot deck a long time, and I think I'm starting to doubt myself now. Maybe I did include this in one of my earlier deck collection videos, um, but this is really, this is a crazy deck. I love this deck, and when I first got it, I, I read with it quite a bit, and I, I kind of, it's one of those decks I put on my shelf, and I haven't, haven't used it in a really long time. Um, but it's a really, really fascinating deck to work with. The images, some of the images are just downright disturbing, like this one, <laughs> it's kind of disturbing. Um, and then some of them are just fascinating. Like that one's kind of scary. But yeah, really, really different deck. I guess all decks are kind of different in their own way. Okay, so here we have the Hip Chick Tarot by Maria Strom. And I love the backs. <laughs> this just reminds me of the 1970s. Okay, so again, these cards, um, these cards have a beautiful feel to them. They're very, very matte and velvety. This is a very contemporary deck. She's renamed the suits and some of the court cards and even some of the major arcana cards. But I find that it's a very easy deck to read with, even even despite that. Sometimes I find it's a little bit ch more challenging when when some of the decks and or some of the suits and cards have been renamed. But with this one, I actually feel like this is a fairly easy deck to to relate with. It's a very down to earth kind of kind of deck. It has kind of a feminist, almost a 1970s, but yet contemporary <laughs> kind of kind of feel to these cards. Okay. And I actually use this one quite quite often. So this next one is the Mystic Meg Tarot. And I'm just gonna get the box for you. Oh I've got the book. Okay. This is the, the guidebook. So the Mystic Tarot was actually done by I want to get the name of the artist. Oh, it doesn't say on the box. Oh, that's so frustrating. Okay, well, I guess it will be a mystery. <laughs> so the Mystic Meg Tarot is not your typical 
um, Rider Waite deck. This is more um, what you would call a pip deck. So the um, I guess it's more based on like the Marseille style of tarot, where the major or the minor arcana cards are just you know four of water is just four cups <laughs> there's no like scene unfolding on the card the majors have pictures but the minors are just you know very very simple very basic and i actually really love this deck i rarely ever read with it but there's just something about this deck that is so sweet and i don't know i find sometimes it's challenging to read with this deck but it's always rewarding and I just really like the the style of the artwork and to me it's just a very very special deck. I I had a hard time finding this deck because I believe it's out of print and it has been for quite a while and I was lucky enough to get a used copy online and when it arrived in the mail uh, it was actually brand new so it's kind of neat. So here is the Simple Tarot and I'll show you the box. It's a simple box, simple tarot. And the simple tarot, I just want to get the name of the lady who created the simple tarot. Angie Green. Okay, and this deck, it's a version, there was another deck that she created, and I forget the name of it, and this version is basically that deck, but with writing on it. So the other version doesn't have the writing right on the, on the deck. So this is what I, would, what I would call a really amazing deck for learning. As you can see here, we've got strength, and the meaning is on the card, as well as you know what each symbol represents. And when I first got this deck, I thought, oh, this is a really neat concept. Like, this would be really handy if you were learning tarot. But I didn't think that I would actually use this deck for doing readings, because I thought, you know, it's more of a more of a kind of a learning deck. And as you can see, each um, suit has, is a different color. So wands is red, pentacles are green. Um, but I found I've used it for a few readings now, and I actually really like using this, this deck for readings, which totally surprised me. So, yeah. It will definitely be staying in my collection for, for a while. Okay, so this one I recently did a review of, and this is called the Luminous Void Tarot by Laura Zispen. And I should also mention, I'll put the name of each deck and their creator in the notes below this video. So in the little description box, it will have all that info. So, oh, love the card backs. This is a unique deck. It's got a funny shape to it. It's oval shaped. Um, the edges are gold. It has a beautiful, beautiful texture. I really just got this deck, so I haven't used it very much. I recently did a review on it. And it's a very interesting deck. It, it kind of... Um, someone on my in the comment section of my video review said it kind of reminds him of some of the nightmares he has, <laughs> which I thought was kind of funny. Well, this one definitely is kind of nightmarish, um, but it's a very it's a very different deck. It's very unique. It's kind of quirky. Um, you know, it's interesting, interesting style, and I I love the fact that the cards are kind of shaped differently. I think that's kind of neat. So like I said, I haven't had this deck for very long, so I've I've only I've only used it a handful of times so far. Okay. Now this deck is called the Circle of Light Tarot, and I'll show you the box. Circle of Life Tarot. And it's created by, oh, I hate it when it's not obvious, um, Maria, Maria Di Stefano. Okay, so what's really cool is this is one of the few circular decks. They kind of look like coasters. <laughs> And I'm going to be honest, I don't really like this deck. I, I mean, I obviously liked it enough to buy it. Like, I think the artwork is amazing. I love the artwork on here. It's really quirky and, and, 
and kind of fascinating and bizarre all at the same time. Um, so, so the art is what drew me in. That's why I, why I got the deck. Um, but I don't like reading with this deck. I find that it's impossible to read with. It doesn't. None of the cards make any sense. Like I don't know what it's supposed to be based on, but the majority of the cards make no sense to me. So I just find it really difficult to read with. I mean, I guess I could just read with the image alone, um, but I kind of I just like my cards to make some sense. And as much as I love the weird artwork on this deck, I just found it impossible to read with. Um, so I still have it, but I think I might give it away um, to someone who who is drawn to it, someone who wants it. Okay. Now this next deck is called the Heart and Hands Tarot. And this is a black and white deck. And this is by... Um, Liz Blackbird. And I use this deck a ton. I use it a lot in my tarot courses, like when I'm teaching. And I love this deck so much. It's a great deck. It's based on the Rider Waite Smith style. Um, but it's kind of different. It's, uh, you know, it's. I guess it's loosely based on the Rider Waite Smith style. It's it's um, it's a bit different, and I find it quite easy to read with. I feel like the cards just display so much emotion and energy, and I thought I wouldn't enjoy a black and white deck. This was, I think, my first black and white deck because I really like color and all that. But oh, I love this deck so much. I would say this one, along with the Dark Mansion Tarot and the Everyday Witch Tarot are kind of three decks that I use quite frequently. Okay, so that has been my Tarot Deck Collection video, so I hope you've enjoyed. And um, please share my video, subscribe, and check out my website, dailytarotworld.com. I've got all kinds of fun stuff on there. And let me know which of these decks do you have, and what do you think of them? Okay, so thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful rest of your day.